Tutorial 120 Drawing in Inventor The last tutorial in the drawing section for Inventor So in this tutorial it will be a final alignment for your drawing and a final look before printing So for example let's align this bit of material to add it a little bit down here so you hover over your bit of materials and when you see that cross sign appeared so you are able to move your bit of material and also you can notice that you are able to rescale your part to be a little bit bigger or smaller depending on your sheet size for example here we have a chance to make it a little bit bigger so if you choose one of the views double click and here you see the scale so if you open the scale menu you have different scales so if you make it two times bigger so it is bigger than wanted ctrl c so double click you can specify our custom scaling so you can write 1.2 okay so it is more fitting to the sheet and more clear so now make alignment and our bit of material balloons and so on also we are able to hover and move our balloons Add it in the place so now it look fine and here in the title section you can able to add more details about your drones for that example we can add a title so the simplest way to add a title just click on text and here we can write the name of this drawings disk bar slider so we have the text here and we can add drawing number for example one two seven and additional information in the same way so we add a title we added the bit of materials and everything looked fine time for printing to do that you click on the print and here you have different choices best fit or one-to-one -one, uh, and so on and here you are able to rotate add the colors and so on just click ok and here you can choose your printer I have the PDF printer ok and here we see our PDF or printed file so here you see the printing was not in place so you have to try again with that so that is a good practice to have PDF to to control your printing before you see it so let's try to change the cheat size to A3 So that is an important issue to know exactly your paper size. So as we remember, we choose the ANSI standard with the millimeter. And here you can see in the layout, cheat, the size is C. So you have to add in mind, so before printing. So when you go to print, go model one to one, then you in the printer properties advanced and you can select the ansi c so this is the standard for this layout you select it okay okay and now here we have our pdf or printed cheat so everything is inside the sheet 
Africa. So looks nice and arranged. Also another way, if you are not engaged with printer sitting and so on, when you are printing, you can select the best fit. But sometimes the best fit keeps some marginal spaces around. So it is good also to know the size, exact size and print for it. Otherwise you can use the best fit. So here is our printed file and the last in this section and congratulations that now you are able to use the drawing and everything in there and creating your professional drawing sheets. So thanks for watching.